Harper Audio presents Free Men, a novel by Katie Simpson Smith. Performed by Alec Tomq, William Harper, Michael Curran Dorsano, Paula J. Parker, and William Duffy. About this time, a bloody transaction occurred in the territory of the present county of Conecuh. The party consisted of a Hillaby Indian who had murdered so many men that he was called Istalicha, the manslayer, a desperate white man who had fled from the states for the crime of murder, and whom, on account of his activity and ferocity, the Indians called the Cat, and a bloodthirsty Negro named Bob. Albert James Pickett, History of Alabama and Incidentally of Georgia and Mississippi, from the earliest period, 1851. March 9th, 1788. Leclerc. The first sign that order had slipped its axis was that the slave who came to tell us of the murders was riding a horse. I was reclining on a mat this morning next to a chief of the Creeks, cleaning my pipe while his wife tended to his hair, and I was in the midst of reminding myself to make a note of this habit, the way she greased her fingers before the ritual untangling when he snapped his head away from her and shouted at one of his lieutenants to get that man off the good horse. The Indians let their slaves ride mules and are generally rather lax with regard to discipline, but this steed was evidently of superior breeding, which detail briefly obscured the greater fact that the slave was alone and was clearly distraught. I traveled down to the southern hunting grounds yesterday with my chief and his attendants and various wives, including my own, and I was expecting a reprieve from the recent flurry of negotiations and skirmishes that now color the post-revolutionary landscape of the inner American wilds. I am grateful for the role that I, an outsider, and a Frenchman have been given in such proceedings, but I have long preferred to take an observational seat. Though I can now see how my intellect and experience are useful to these creeks, or Muscogee, as they call themselves. I pursued this circuitous path to America in order to catalogue the divergences of man. I left friends behind in Paris who dissect amphibians and sketch leaves, but I hope to earn my place in the burgeoning science by classifying human action, to construct not a hierarchy but rather a forecast for future generations. While history may be used to explain the present, I believe that the present may also offer prophecies. So when he dismounted and brought us his story, that the trading party consisting of four American loyalists en route to Pensacola, who traveled south with our protection and with Creek slaves as guides, were brutally attacked and slaughtered in the dark of night by a band of ruthless highway robbers who stole their bags of silver and slit their throats, and that this band comprised a white man, a Negro, and an Indian who appeared in the dark to be a member of the Creek Nation. Well, I saw this to be a rare encapsulation of the types of man a scale model of American brutality and independence, and I volunteered to hunt them down. Because I have yet to fail him, my chief Silawatka agreed, and I retired to my tent to prepare my belongings and inform my wife. She is a decent woman, and did not protest when she was matched to me in one of the early ceremonies of my attendance in this nation. I came from France via the Arctic and the northern American cities, but I have not been more pleasantly welcomed than in the towns of the Upper Creek. A marriage is seen as an act of trust, and an invitation into their elaborate kinships, which remind me of the royal houses of Europe with their dueling clans and irrepressible gossip. The Indians, however, are far less savage, and their hospitality unparalleled. I informed my wife that her paramount duty besides the daily labor in the field that occupies these women is to provide me with a steady supply of paper and ink. These commodities here are rare, but she must have a well-developed relationship with traders, for whenever I run out, there she is with a new sheaf bound and tied with twine. If my researches earn any audience among the European journals, I will credit her as my assistant. Selawadka afforded me three creeks and the original slave to guide me to the site of the outrage, which fortunately lies closer to these hunting grounds than our town of Hillaby, so that my pursuit will be abbreviated. 